Well, hello guys, welcome back again to IPSC 2015 channel here and today we're going to show you how to use Pad Interactive Simulation website for your te interactive teaching media in teaching science. So first thing first, you have to make sure that you are connected through the internet and also you have to open your browser and for the browser here I use Mozilla Firefox because Usually the simulation on the pad, they work well with Mozilla and this is the first page of the pad in the website and all you have to do is just play with sim click play with simulation they will show you many category of science and math here and yeah it will show many simulation and for today's I'm go we're going to show you how to teach chemistry using that so you just have to click chemistry here and it will show many simulation for chemistry for example for acid base solution atomic interaction beta decay and many more and I will choose build an atom one so for build an atom your student they will learn about the periodic table net charge mass number Proton, neutron, electrons, and and the atom itself, the symbol of the atom like helium, H, H E, and hydrogen is H, and many more. So for this uh, page, you will see a little monitor here, and this little monitor has play button. If you do, if you want to go directly for directly to the simulation, you just have to click the play button. Or you can just download the simulation as well. So let's click the play button. Now we're waiting for the simulation to play. <coughs> they have atom, symbol, and game. Okay, let's first uh, check on the atom. So for the atom itself, they will show a periodic table here and also the net charge and mass number and here your student will arrange their own atoms and the simulation they will indicate what kind of element it is and also how many charge what charge they have and also the mass number of the atoms or the elements so let's see uh, for example I want to put three protons here and it will directly indicate that it is a lithium and because it, it is protons it has positive ions and then the net chart will be positive 3 and also the mass number will be 3 because it only contains of protons so I'm going to add neutrons 3 neutrons here and the mass number will be 6 so it indicates that mass number is protons plus neutrons and for the net chart it's still plus 3 so what if I put 3 electrons here it will be neutral atoms because the number of the protons and electrons is the same if I put one more electrons here it will be negative ions because the number of electrons is more than the protons so here yeah your student will learn about the net charge element and mass number of the atom they also if they want to see whether the element is stable or unstable they just can click here and it will show stable and if i put a more electron it's still stable and that's how you your student play and learn for the second one is uh, about learning about the symbols so here basically it's the same like that your student will build their own atoms but here instead of that charge and then mass number they will show a symbol here with the up right here is the mass number of the element the left up is for the net charge of the element and the bottom one is for the number of the pattern in the element so if i put three neutrons here the mass number will be six and if i put 
two electrons here the net charge will be positive one if i put one more electrons it will be neutral atom because the number of the protons and electrons is the same and that's how your students learn and the last one let's check on the game they have uh, for the game they have four types of the game and here you can evalu evaluate your students understanding by using the game because it can add uh, time for the student to learn how uh, to do the game okay let's check on one of them let's check on this this came for uh, yeah in question what is the mass number of the atom here it has one proton and one neutron so the mass number will be two and check okay that was right and yeah it goes on like that what's total charge it's gonna also for the mass number or the number of proton number of neutron number of electron or something like that and then uh for this yeah it is for the indicating what kind which element is the item here if it has one proton and one neutron it probably will be hydrogen so you click here is it neutral atom or iron because it has no electron just put it let's just say it's iron and check you can score your student it has five protons five, six neutrons five electrons what would it be it would be boron it will be neutral atoms and so on and I, for this one is for symbolism this one for, uh, they ask you about the net charge of the atom it has 18 neutrons and 16 protons so it, the, the net charge will be negative 2 yeah sometimes it will ask you about the net, net charge and sometimes it will ask you about the number of the protons here and for this one you just have to guess from the picture of the atom here you just have to guess uh, the, the mass number and also the net charge and also for the number of proton let's try here one proton and also two electrons minus, minus two plus one will be negative one and number of mass would be one a check that would be right and something like that so here using that your student will learn with games and also with simulations so they will understand more about what is atom what is element what is net charge how how much is mass number protons neutrons and electrons and their relationship and that will be it for today's video uh, thank you for watching this and don't forget to like and subscribe for this channel and see you in the next video